Hello guys and welcome to this new video. Today we are going to talk about Python modules and packages. First, what is a module? A module is a file containing Python definitions and statements. The file name is the module name with the suffix .py appended. A module can contain executable statements as well as function definitions. These statements are intended to initialize the module. A package is a collection of modules. They are a way of structuring Python's module namespace by using dotted module names. For example, the module name a.b designates a sub-module named b in a package named a. Modules and packages facilitate modular programming, which is the process of breaking a large and wildly programming task into independent interchangeable modules such that it contains everything necessary to execute only one aspect of the desired functionality. To import a package or module, we have two methods. We can use, for example, import the module math, for example, we run that, and to use that, we, we, we have to assign it this way, math. Dot and we are going to use, for example, a function that is defined inside, inside our module math. For example, we are going to use square root. Right, square root of 4. For example, we have 2. We can also import this module using another method, which is from math import, for example, square root. Okay, run then we ha we are going to use it directly without using the math dot square root we are going directly to use for example square root of four okay run we are going to see all the functions that are in the math module right module math so we have the name, which is math description. This module provides access to the mathematical functions defined by the C standard, right? So we have these functions that we can use inside the math package, right? For example, if we want to use sign, okay, sign of 30, for example, it will say that name sign is not defined because we did not import it from our module okay but if we use math dot sign it will work right a better method is to use the star for example from math import all so when we use this symbol right here it means that we will import all the functions that are inside our module. So we have the access to all the functions. We execute that and we use, for example, the sign of 30. We get our result directly. For example, if we want to list all the packages that are in our Jupyter notebook, for example, we can use exclamation point tip and we just write list here we are going to have all the packages that are in our in our uh, Jupyter notebook right so we have all these packages right here for example we have NumPy if we want to the union style if we want to delete a package we we need to use the syntax right we write pip uni and style right and we have to write minus yes okay so for example this means that we are allowing to uninstall this package for example we can write numpy okay uni install yes successfully uni installed numpy okay 
Now, if we want to install a package, since we have deleted NumPy, we are going to install it again. Right? NumPy. So this is used to uni install package. This is used to install the package, right? So here we have successfully installed NumPy with the latest version, right? This function is for listing all the packages. And here we have these different methods for importing the functions inside a module, right? The help function, it helps us to, to get an insight of what functions that we will have access into from the package that we are going to import. This is all for this video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.